Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Evil Within. We are currently in um, chapter 3. And for this chapter, <laughs> the main event is actually pretty easy. What takes up a lot of time is mostly the preparations and then the cleanup afterwards, because otherwise, this chapter would literally be 10 minutes long. <laughs> or even less than that. Um, in this beginning part, I just tried to see if I can get some resources with these boxes, but nope, they just want to give me health, and unfortunately, I don't need health. I really would need some gel. And I got gel now. <laughs> kind of amazing because that bottle also isn't uh, um, guaranteed, the bottle of gel, but it was enough because if you remember from last episode, I needed 3000 gel to actually um, upgrade my sprint, which should make this chapter very consistent. But. Uh, I didn't have enough, so I was very happy that I got that bottle of gel. If you got luckier with the drop from the previous chapter, uh, Shit. you should be good because quite frankly, before we killed the boss, there was quite literally no gel. So unfortunately for, um, unfortunately, if you get here without 3000 gel you won't be able to upgrade your sprint before going for this now i need to be very careful here because there are bear traps on akumu and i don't know where they are <laughs> but there's a couple of things that we can do in preparation for the traps in, pre in preparation for killing the boss which is i can't go past this that gate over there, I can only go in one of two houses. The This house right here that I'm going to go into is the house that I'm going to essentially run out of. So I need to do some preparations here because there are two bombs that I need to do. Uh, and there's also the save room here. I'm going to go searching for bottles here to disarm some bombs. The, one of them is right over there. You may have seen it. And you're probably gonna hear the second one as I try and disarm this one. Um, because I literally forgot that there was another bomb on the other part of the room. And that one exploded and through some sheer force of miracle did not blow me up with it. So I am very happy for that. Uh, but yeah, those two bombs should be disarmed if you're going to do the strategy of running straight for the sadist to kill him. Because if you kill the sadist, everybody else these Not despawns, but it dies. Because uh, you still get goodies from them. You might see your goodies. Either way, uh, there's a map fragment there. There's a journal. I'm going to go into the safe room. Because I need to upgrade my sprint. My head. So we will be running here and upgrade sprint as well as I don't remember if there were any collectibles here that are yet. I think there were. Yes, there are. Newspaper. You should find this useful. Um. Yeah, Connolly. Connolly's profile, as well as a tutorial for the keys, the locker. Key. I got a key from the previous chapter, so this the way, nurse please. is going to take me on a small little tutorial. To tell me, hey, you got a key, you can now open the locker. Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. It's a forever and a day to get here. 
Detective Castellanos? Do you have a key like this? That key will allow you to open this door. Now, I was a dumbass and I shot the locker. Don't do that. Uh, you need eight bullets in order to kill the sadist. So don't waste your bullets. Under no circumstances should you Please ever be wasting your you bullets here. Yeah. And uh, pray for gel. If yours, if you still don't have gel, just pray for gel. <laughs> Unfortunately, that the room isn't open, so I'm going to have to take the long way around um, to upgrade. But all I'm gonna be doing here is upgrading my sprint because that's the most important thing right now, at the very least. So we are going to be saving here just to make sure that um, just to make sure that we have uh, um, a safety net in case something goes wrong and this actually proves useful immediately I wasn't expecting it so here go the death montages hey oh no he's oh for f sake come to me Bardo it is time for you to do what you do best. Explode me too. <laughs> yeah, so one of those deaths happened after I killed the sadist. And I found out that after you kill the sadist, if you've already collected a bunch of gel, you actually are missing that gel and you don't get it back. So I got screwed, therefore I had to kill the sadist. This is actually my second time killing the sadist because I killed him. This gave me a checkpoint right after I killed him. I collected a butt ton of things and those things despawned and I lost all of my gel. And this chapter actually gives you a lot of gel early on so you can't afford to lose your gel. Better said to die after you killed the sadist and already collected most of the stuff. Ah, uh, which was pretty annoying, but hey, that's fine. Um, as soon as I found some gel, I went back in and made another save. Because I got so paranoid because of the fact that I lost a save. <laughs> in which I gathered all of my gel that I decided to just save that gel that I got which was like 500 gel it's not much but <laughs> that's what paranoia will do to a person um so we're going to be going out to the front door and our goal right now is to go through the other door because that one has an axe the sadist can be killed with two axes and eight handgun bullets with no upgrades, this is true on any difficulty. You can kill him this way on Survivor as well as uh, Nightmare and the Kumu. There's a trap right here. Disarm that, get yourself your trap pot. You're gonna need them, Jill. Whenever you can get it, and here's Jimenez. The start of a really no, boring scene. Shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor, Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before a crash, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. Have a look for yourself. Those things chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. Leslie went through that gate. Good lord. There are too many to shoot our way through. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. So after Jimenez tells you that you're the one with the gun, you he, so. you, you uh, go to this place, you smack it down, and then you, uh, in order to make it fall, because you actually have to raise it back up. You can smack it in order to um, avoid having to lower it the old fashioned way. That way you get time here so that you can run up these stairs. Run down these stairs, I mean. 
uh, blast your way through that gate and you're and look at Jimenez there he's about to distract those people well we wouldn't be here if we would have had to crank that second gate and Jimenez right now is going to distract all of those haunted which means that you're going to have a free shot at the sadist before anybody gets a chance to discover you so you go here, you, you equip your gun to number one and you just equip your gun that will drop the axe right next to the sadist. There's another axe right over here. This is a speedrunner tactic by the way. Most every speedrunner uses this, or at the very least the ones that I've watched uses this to get through this chapter. Well they have the shotgun but we don't have the shotgun so that's why we need two of those axes and we need eight bullets. And after 8 bullets, the Sadist will be dead. After 8 bullets, the Sadist will be dead. And everybody else is going to die alongside him. And the Sadist actually drops a lot of gel and there's also a ruby. Uh, the Sadist drops about a thousand gel. No, 5,000. Oh, goodness gracious. And the uh, chainsaw. So yeah, 5,000 Joe is no joke, especially in the beginning of the game. Okay, so this is uh, quite literally me just running around and getting all of my ammo. And it is important to get every gel. And by the way, just throw bottles at a safe distance at all of the traps. Like... Uh, the Rubik clone's also gonna give you about a thousand gels. There's a lot of keys here. Just shoot them, cause I shoot all of the keys. I get all of the keys here. There's no reason not to. You have a Virginian and one keys. Get them, all of them. Get your agony crossbow, uh, your gels, all of the bolts that you can get from this part of the house. Uh, all of the ammo, your shotgun um and just a whole bunch of gel <laughs> running around at max speed here i hope that it's pretty uh understandable what i'm doing here well it's not max it's three times the speed but either way you do get about four to five keys i believe somewhere around that line here which is pretty good you get a whole butt on a bolt, and by the way, Sebastian takes no fall damage, and be careful of these traps. Oh my god, be careful of those traps, because you don't want to be in my stead. You literally will lose all of that gel. Don't do that to yourself. Just be careful of traps. Be careful of bombs. Uh, don't risk yourself if you have, if you see that <laughs> there's a bomb somewhere maybe avoid it or throw a bottle at wherever you think there might be a bomb to make sure you don't die like i am being exceptionally careful right now because i don't know <laughs> what room has the bombs and what room doesn't have the bombs so i am being exceptionally careful i am making sure that i am not stepping on any traps I'm making sure that I am disarming all of the bombs and uh, there's a chest um, somewhere. Blech. There's a whole bunch of gel to take. There's a whole bunch of chests and traps. There's a chest here that's with a bomb, so you have to be careful how you open it. You have to be exceptionally careful how you open it. In fact, by all means, I would skip that one. <laughs> if you if you are not sure how to open it, I would skip it, quite frankly, because it's actually pretty tricky to open. And if you blow yourself up at this point, you lose all of your goodies. Don't do that to yourself. Uh, destroy the traps at a safe distance. <laughs> like, throw your bottles from a safe distance, but I said... <laughs> But yeah, you should get plenty of goodies even without that that chest because there's plenty of them lying around and um, there is no reason for you to risk yourself with stuff that you don't know will be um, 
Now I'm going to go and perform some upgrades depending on what I need. The most important bolts that you will ever upgrade are the flash bolts. If you do one thing during this whole cool run, just upgrade the flash bolts. <laughs> the explosive bolts and the shock bolts and the magnum. Everything else you might be able to live without, but quite frankly, I personally feel like those are the priority. You want the clip capacity to be up, but we don't have many right now. I prefer to always upgrade the um, shock bolts, explosive bolts, anything of the like that will um, make sure that I survive and Flash bolts need to be upgraded to almost maximum, if not maximum, by chapter 6. If you want to do the safe strat, you definitely should upgrade the flash bolts uh, to maximum. If you don't care about the safe strat, I would just not bother with it, uh, with them. Uh, if you can actually run around, you're going to need to pick basically between either sprinting or upgrading the flash bolts. I personally choose to upgrade the flash bolts. <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. The flash bolts are the best way to get through chapter 6. And, uh, I prefer safety over everything, um... I prefer safety over randomly just running around and... And that's the bomb that actually killed me. <laughs> if you saw me previously, that was the bomb that killed me. And quite frankly, I failed that bottle throw. So instead, what happened was I just looked at the room and was like, you know what, for, for a couple of boxes, I died for a couple of boxes. That was amazing. <laughs> when I realized that I died for a couple of boxes that may have just not given me anything, that was amazing. And I keep on searching for traps here, but there are actually no more traps. I got everything. So yeah, I, I did waste some time here. I did wait some time before I realized, oh, let's just go. Because I quite literally got everything. And then I realized, wait, there was some handgun ammo or shotgun or whatever I wasted back there. And I want to try and bring an axe with me, but that's not possible. I'm going to tell you right now, you will be switched to your gun next chapter. It's not possible to bring an axe or anything, so don't bother. And we are here at the end of the chapter, quite literally. Wait! Over here! Wait, uh, officer. You must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is important. And that's me that still fight. trying and thinking that I can get that axe across. It won't happen. And here we are in chapter four. Oh, the um, yes. There is Leslie a room over here. here, with He'd come here chapter four. I, I don't think I've seen are. a more comprehensive guide from chapter four anywhere uh, uh, except for Jigsaw well, Killer. He's now. the one who oh, does speedruns for this game and he like makes it so easy dignity. to figure out where everything is in chapter 4 beast. and I've used his guide to navigate chapter no, 4 uh, for ages and I actually used the speedrun strat to take out this guy, not the one that he uses in his actual Kumu guide. You can just get to this door. Uh, before the fat guy breaks out and then stealth kill him. That is possible if you do the strat where you're pointing the gun in order to walk faster. If you don't do that, you will get here too late and he will already be out. Now there's a, this chest here is actually pretty good. It's another one with a bomb, but hey, if you manage to uh, unlock it, you will be able to get trap parts and... Flash bolts, which are always good because flash bolts are the best defensive maneuver in the game. So yeah, definitely um, 
definitely go to that room definitely you can start kill that guy you have enough time so long as you just point your gun when you're walking because you can't actually run back there uh, and then go back for the chest there's no reason to pick the chests off initially you can go back for them the most important part is to get rid of that guy because you don't want to fight him anyway and now we are just gonna be running to uh Jimenez's place i get a little bit confused here i have to admit i haven't watched uh the guide for a hot minute now and i'm just doing this from my memory what i remember and that is go inside the house with your shotgun you will have this man uh, uh being nasty to some patient and we are gonna kill him because the patient has a key you can actually skip this part by the way if you are not interested in keys uh, which I would say, why wouldn't you? This is an easy key to get. The only thing to to kill is this guy. One shot, one uh, bullet will have him go down, and then you can just burn him. And uh, yeah, uh, it is kind of dangerous to sit there. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, it is very dangerous. Because he can just smack you when he's on the ground. I've died that way so many times, it's not even funny. You have to look at this x-ray to realize that, yeah, there's a key inside of that man's chest. And then, you yeah, go to the key and you yeah, take it out. Yes, it's kind of gross, but it's an extra key. And an extra key is better than no extra key. <laughs> Small jump scare. Five key. Thing that is left here is some, I believe, some matches and some. Oh, and the. Uh, oh. Should have some gel, and gel is always great because we're lacking in gel right now. We haven't gotten to the big bosses that give you the big gel, and there's some matches over there. Um, and oh yeah, I'm going to be upgrading my matches because Listen, matches are uh, something that I found yeah. you run out of and you do actually get a hefty amount of them in the beginning and then you don't get that many later on. <laughs> Health, of course. Uh, of course, of course. And now we are back outside at the door where um, we have our safe room. And we can run over here, break some boxes, get to the mirror, uh, and get the poster and the newspaper for a few minutes. But first there's going to be a creepy crawly scene with the nurse over here. And she's going to be acting all weird and stuff, so we're going to have to her for a little bit and you can't actually sprint here whenever you see me pointing my gun during areas where there clearly is no combat it's because i'm not allowed to sprint and that is faster than uh whatever slow walk i can do <laughs> at this point in time that's the reason why i'm doing that that's the reason why I did this in the beginning of the chapter, because it allows me to walk faster. It's the reason why I'm doing this here, because I can only walk, and it is faster than walking. I'm not about to shoot the nurse, don't worry. <laughs> Small fine, little scene fine, here with Leslie. Fine, 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 and you do fine, get to it faster fine. if you walk the way that I do with the back pointed. You don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. All right. <laughs> 
and now that that little scene is over we have the newspaper that we can pick up and the this portrait that pick up Valentino bunch of lockers our hope is Joe and good ammo so no health so long as we get no health we are fine because health is absolute well anyway f5 i'm nobody's gonna scoff i'm just okay when it comes to jail apparently because i got three lockers in a row worth of jail. i'm fairly sure you have to be <laughs> really lucky to get that i don't do anything with ammo um but yeah, I got a ridiculous amount of gel. Uh, if you don't have, if you didn't get the ridiculous amount of gel, um, that's fine. You will eventually get the gel. From what I remember, there's like every free. Eventually, you will get a lot of gel. And what I'm mostly gonna be focusing here is upgrading. Uh, the matches because I'm a little bit freaked out. Uh, I don't need to take them to need to uh, about four level four. <laughs> they're not even that expensive, so they're actually worth upgrading. So that you have enough for Laurel, especially coming up. You're going to need matches for Laurel, and you're going to cry if you don't have matches for. Uh, the other important part is just upgrading my ammo, just making sure that I have enough ammo because uh, we are going to be finding, we are already finding ammo <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> and yes, if I have enough, I just upgrade the flashbow to level 4. But remember that upgrading them to level 4 is important for chapter 6, so if you upgrade them right now or next to chapter 6, it doesn't matter, like... The important part is to have them upgraded for chapter 6, and this is chapter 4. You'll have time if you do the amount of gel that I did from the bonkers. Missing out on them. Um, apart from that, fire rate is mostly for the speed at which you can fire bullets. Um, so if you're not interested in that, I would say don't upgrade it. I personally found that it was actually pretty useless for me personally because I don't tend to like spam the gun that much so uh, that was a waste of investment for me but if you like to spam gunshots then I would say yeah upgrade the fire rate but I was mostly focused on clip capacities uh, in general capacities for my stock and stuff that was mostly what this upgrade session was about. And if you get ammo, if you get explosive bolts, like save them, hoard them like they are the treasures of the world. You will need them so much if you get explosive bolts, flash bolts. Like hoard them, please. Uh, there's a lady here that drops gel. If you save her, this dude is gonna bring this woman on the pyre. You can, uh, attack him and you can shoot him with the shotgun and then, uh, burn him with a match. And you've essentially saved that lady. So now you can go inside of her house and get some gel. Uh, I believe it's about the 1,000. Uh, be I careful should. with him. He gets up pretty fast and he hits pretty hard. Like, uh, anything's a one-shot. <laughs> because he likes to struggle on the ground, just be careful with him. And this is me forgetting which house is the lady's house. I am not even joking. I just don't remember. I want to go to her house and get my gel but i just don't remember and i don't remember if i just leave i don't think i leave i think i do eventually <laughs> eventually remember that yeah it's that house it took me a while to figure out that it's that house and there's the gel that i get from the lady it's about oh it's 300 it's not even a thousand i don't know how much that is worth but hey <laughs> We're dirt poor right now, and I'm 
walking around because I again forgot <laughs> which house Leslie was. <laughs> That's how little times I've done this chapter. I've literally forgotten which is the the house of the lady and the house of Leslie's and I forgot how to get out of here because it's essentially a clearing that's blocked off except for a couple of houses and I quite literally just wander around like an idiot. <laughs> Do I remember? Alright, it's this way. Alright, that's the place and that's the house. Yeah, that one right in front. It's actually like seeing it in retrospect it's like, yeah, it makes sense. They're right next to each other, but I just... I just couldn't remember for the life of me. <laughs> Matches over here. Uh, get them for Laurel. Uh, and there's uh, a small little room over Next here with... Uh, what was it? Shotgun ammo and... Um, matches which are the important part get them for laurel and for chapter five because i forgot what a shitstorm chapter five was until i got to chapter five because i'm always confused about a segment that i will talk about when we get to chapter oh, five but for right now there's an invisible guy that's gonna be popping as soon as the scene with Jimenez and leslie I think uh, coming. stop. When you have game control, there will be a dude in there that just got in the room and I'm just gonna run up and smack him. And you don't have to run too next to him. Like, I stop about halfway trap. through because Is he's gonna run for me all? as well. Because I'm going to run game. up to him. So I just run up and I smash with the axe and hope that he actually <laughs> runs for we me. There have been times when he's got me. I'm not gonna lie. Get away. Because he's an invisible enemy, but usually... Usually he's going to be kind of sort of in the same area and i take the gel give the cutscene run after rubik forget that i have to turn around because of course i do um doctor leslie so i just run in a straight line and make the scene longer you actually have to turn around here but i am an idiot you see the game forces me to turn around it's like no this way moron <laughs> this is the way you're supposed to go so if you would have turned around immediately then and started walking the other way you would have actually gotten here faster and this uh, section what's of the game is it might seem intimidating there is a gauntlet but actually it's pretty easy um i usually use speedrun strats for this because they just burn everybody um you can shoot that lever from across the lake of blood but i usually just don't want to waste any bullet on it i'm just gonna <laughs> We slowly walk towards it and get it that way. There's always a grenade here, always. So if you're somehow not full on grenades like I am, uh, get yourself your grenade. Uh, there's bolts here, and there is a uh, lever here. You need to pull it twice in order to get the statue. The first time it's gonna be a body. This is actually the room that I always confuse with the one from Chapter One. Uh, <laughs> The drops the statue right over there. I'm gonna be getting it, but first we need to get our expo. Um, take our expo out and just over here because there will be a roof explosion. It's gonna get blown up, and because if your explosive bolt on that level, mine is, you're gonna have to shoot him with a gun. <laughs> <clears throat> right after uh, this this boat won't finish the Rubik clone if your uh, explosive boat is not at level 2 but if it is at level 2 you're gonna kill him outright uh, the um, statue is what we're gonna go for next and by the way if you die which I do once you're gonna have to redo all of this <laughs> like putting the explosive boat um 
getting the statue, getting all of your goodies, uh, getting ready for the fight. You're gonna have to redo all of this. <laughs> if you die. And the crouch down over here, there's a trap disarmament for trap parts. There's also trap parts right over here. And then I feel confident and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I can definitely do this. I'm psyching myself up. I'm going to run for the dudes and uh, I am ready for this. And then... Yeah. How oh, in God's name did that man just... He just rushed for me. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that again. We did all of that preparation again. I didn't want to show it again, but it's literally the same thing. Like, there's no random loot here. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. The Rubik clone just got blown up and I'm just going to shoot these guys until they're all kind of sort of in line. So that I can uh, shock both the whole bunch of them. And now I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for the whole bunch of them and burn them and get my gun ready for these dudes. And I was lucky there. I will be perfectly honest, I was very lucky. Like That could have gone very bad. That guy got up super fast. And that's the fight. Usually it's that simple. Uh, sometimes it can be even simpler if you manage to actually round them all up and just burn them all with the shock bolt. It can be exceptionally simple. And by the way, go this way because the Rubik clone always drops 1000 gel. You want that. If he's still alive, just shoot him with your sh uh, handgun. Shoot him with your handgun. Fire as many bullets as you need. Get him out of there because he is dangerous. Um... And yeah, that's going this is me being like exceptionally greedy. There was no reason for me to risk myself for some boxes, but hey, I got to reward it with a trap part, so I'll take it. Because <laughs> that bomb could have blown me up and forced me to redo this fight from my own stupidity like I didn't learn from chapter 3, but hey, I got out and that's the checkpoint and now we are absolutely fine because we don't need to redo that fight because I will spawn from the checkpoint. And uh, this is pretty straightforward. Laurel is going to spawn from there. You can actually grab these things uh, as you're going in the room if you need ammo. And then run for the gel. Laurel is going to spawn and then you just run Shit, out of there. Um... And there is a dude that's gonna be uh, getting out of that door and distracting Laurel, so don't worry. Laurel's never gonna get you there. Okay, and... In this part, she actually spawns from the body, then Sebastian always turns around, unless you've killed her, which you have on... Uh, New game after Akumu. Unless you've killed her, Sebastian's always gonna turn around, be shocked, and whatever. You actually do have enough time to disarm these, but I just don't want to risk it. I'm gonna what be perfectly honest. Um, I'm freaked out because she did catch me here once, so I didn't want to risk it. Uh, two trap parts is two trap parts, but at the same time, it's not worth risking my neck for those. But you can technically speak in disarm them. And don't burn this body because you want her to spawn from this body instead of the one from the room. Uh, because she will spawn from there and you want to have enough time to run through this part. And if she spawns from the room, she might get cornered and die. So just leave her to spawn from there and you should be A-OK -okay because you actually don't consume squint there. So you can run full throttle and... That's pretty much the toughest part. There, You can get killed here. I don't know how many of you have gotten killed here. I have. Okay, I was that one dumbass that thought that I could shoot Rubik and I'd be fine. No. You see Rubik, you run to the end of the stairs. And then you shoot him if you fancy. But 
Like, don't let him catch you. If he catches you, you're a one shot. <laughs> That's guaranteed. Here, you can shoot him now to speed up the scene. If you want, I've seen speedrunners do this, but speed up this scene because otherwise you're just gonna wait for him to slow crawl to you and then decide to collapse the ladder on you, which is gonna end the scene. But otherwise, you don't want him to catch you before you get here. You will die. <laughs> And that is not pretty, so yeah. That's pretty much the end of chapter 4. The end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.